879, is that what it is? Coming around the turn, hot! He's looking like he's going to get the first place! Oh! He dumped him! A 30-year-old dumped a 27-year-old. How dare you! Here with Travis, the bank. <laughs> Welcome back to my garage. Um, it's been a while since I've given you guys an update and I've done a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't video everything, but I wanted to show you kind of where we're at with my race car. Last time we went out, got uh, way too hot because I think what happened is that we ended up hitting the track and the bottom radiator hose uh, actually got like hit off, lost all of our water and ended up getting so hot that we lost power. So that happened quick. We thought that we blew a head gasket. We tore the engine apart and ended up not doing that. So bulletproof engines, but we're gonna slowly put that one back together. In the meantime, we have the other engine in and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour around to show you where we're at and hopefully get this thing back on the track. All right, so new engine is in. We have the motor mounts secured on both sides. Got the, uh, a new front motor mount put in uh, because we needed a new one there. And I actually am gonna go ahead and replace the one in the back as well. Um, just have to uh, kind of get that done. I've got those motor mounts here. So anyway, yeah, slowly but surely, uh, just have been going through and hooking up the engine harness on each section. What I am waiting on is the uh, throttle body. So I have to get a conversion plate for this throttle body um, just to fit my old Type S throttle body on there. So um, got the new transmission bolted up and ready to go. And then slowly but surely we have, um, or I have put the axles back in. So let me show you uh, where we're at with that on this side. And this is, this was one that we were a little worried about because um, I had a little bit of a rub here when I, um, when I lost power, I ended up kind of drifting up the track and getting to another car. And that's probably on me. I was a little distracted because I was losing power. And so I didn't know if we bent this or if, or what happened, but as we kind of have put everything back in, it looks straight. So I need to, to finish this one up. I need to get that conversion plate in for to put the uh, the new throttle body on there and then pretty much from there it's just filling this thing back up with fluids and reattaching everything as far as the front T bracket and the radiator and just putting it back together so that is where we're at with this oh and then just you know obviously the serpentine belt things like that so here's where we are at uh, I was able to get the serpentine belt back on, the power steering pump and power steering reservoir all mounted down. I just took the throttle body engine harness connection points and zip tied them out of my way. I'm still waiting on the Type S uh, connection plate uh, to run the OEM throttle body to the RBB intake manifold. Um, I still need to get some cotter pins for my shifter cables and fill the transmission back up with transmission fluid. I was able to get the headers put back on. And so just slowly but surely trying to kind of uh, piece this thing back together. Um, it's been it's been interesting. Um, I've definitely had my ups and downs with this thing, trying to get it back together. Uh, I actually dropped the entire engine on the front of the car here. So you can see where this plate just completely bent down uh, and so I had to you know get that figured out and then bend that back out so that I could get my t-bracket on uh, I still need to you know cut the radiator hoses to size and install the radiator but slowly but surely we're coming back together and uh, getting the small things done to try to get this bad boy back on the track Uh, Y'all hang on and we're going to drive a little bit and go to a few other states. Here we go. Alright, 
guys it is right now like 11 something i don't know if y'all can see me but we're gonna give you a different video this week so at today at 12 i left and look who we got hey Hey. There he is. So, oh man. Here's Travis. We've made it. It's about 11.30. Got the throttle body in. Got the throttle body in. So, I've made it up here to St. Louis to help with this build and give y'all an update. And uh, we'll see what we can do this weekend. Well, hopefully we'll have a race going. If not, we'll have some goat cart racing going. So next day, I uh, I don't know. I would show y'all what's sitting here, but I only I can't remember if we've even showed y'all that. Travis is at work. Duck in here. We got some more projects going on here. There it sits. Got the throttle body on. The radiator is just sitting in there. I need to go get. A radiator, bottom radiator hose. We got the throttle cable hooked up. I just gotta get it down and out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna get some hose and gotta get this plug and the nuts, bolts that hold the the uh, spark plug things in. God, I'm stumbling all over my words. Other than that, we did get our transmission fluid in today. So we're gonna fill the transmission up. We're gonna get oil. We are very close. As soon as I go get the, as soon as I go get the radiator hose, I'm going now, but the plug, I don't know what size these are, that plug down in there. You can see that hole. Uh, but he will go over to the shop and a Flynn will steal it off another car, something I like doing. No, we're just gonna take it, go to the parts store, figure out what size it is, and we'll come back. And later on, we'll show you putting the front back together. Y'all know I know how to put a front together because I've already done. But luckily, if you see, this one ain't bent. It is sharp though, because it cut me. I nicked it here and then it cut me again. So. So let's uh let's run to the parts store first to the shop and uh we might try to get some numbers put on that for him. Let's run to the shop. We've made it to Travis's shop. I don't know if y'all have gotten a real daytime footage of the shop and just what Travis has been got had has what he's been up to since uh all these videos of me racing stuff. So I'm gonna turn around. This is another RSX. I don't know. I haven't went back and watched the videos if Scholar has mentioned this, but this is another one Travis has. It's actually pretty clean, if you ask me, other than the hood he's got on it. It's just a rusted, some really cool rims. I did, I did go under, I pulled the bumper off, but it matches. I did go underneath there and get what we needed. Right here, I got one there and that plug and I'll go to the parts store. Um, he's got the dolly. This is what it looks like. It's a nice little shop. There's my van. Let me see if I can take y'all in and give you a little. All right, here we go. So this will be going in to the St. Louis FFR shop. We haven't even got the stickers. You walk in and what do you know? First thing you see, another hood. Some stuff, a weed eater. Looks like we got a little, an engine, I'm not sure. Nothing has been done to this. It's all been gutted when you got it. There's a transmission. We got some doors and seats back there. Oh, and here's another car that he's got. So he's definitely, there we go. He's definitely been up to some stuff here. That's pretty weird. We got blankets hanging all over the place. So this is the outside right where the van is so here is another i'm guessing a honda hatchback uh around here looks like it's gutted out standard 
I don't know if he's gutted this out or what. I don't know what that is. Pretty cool steering wheel on it. Doesn't have an engine. I'm thinking that was the engine out of it. Parts everywhere. It's daytime, so now y'all can see. I know last time you couldn't really see in here. Looks like we got some harnesses. All right. Um, lights. If you look over here, we got just a few tools in the little area. And more engines and transmissions and fans. And <laughs> as you can tell, Travis has been getting busy up here. Uh, I don't want to, don't quote, but I'm pretty sure that's the engine that came out of the number 11 car. His that over, I don't know if it overheated, but that went down. But anyway, that's the shop. Just a simple little shop. Probably put some shelves up and stuff. Definitely a bunch of carpet. But that does help when it's cold. Looks like we got some new tires down there and rims. So, all I can tell you is, I'm not sure about this. If it'll be a race car. If it's just something that's helping the team part out to try to get money. But, it is pretty cool. So, that is... Uh, officially a little five minute rundown of the FFR shop up here in St. Louis with your boy A. Flim. Yeah, I would be a little more funnier if there was somebody here to joke with. We do plan on pushing out a few cars up here though. If they all do end up being cars, uh, we have a few. So, like I said, I got all what we needed. And uh, we're going to go to the somewhere and get that radiator hose and stuff. So, see y'all in a second. On your marks. Get set. Go! This is the Tri-City Race, guys! I think I was running the wrong tire pressure. Ow. We're going to have a quick interview with the winner and see what, what do you feel he did. What do you think you did there, right? I think what I did. What kind of vehicle you got? The reason she's got some torque. It's a Octane booster. Good run, Travis. Good run. You didn't have quite the speed. That was for down, me. Down the back. All right, track. on a serious note, I showed them earlier a little bit of the shop. Two cars. I told them there was a, uh -huh. our, you got the RSX, the blue RSX. I said it was a Honda hatchback. I didn't know anything about the year of that last one. It's a 96. Show us what we got here is the fourth one. I told them there was a fourth one. We have here a 94 Civic hatchback. Which if y'all have already seen, I'm just showing you a little bit better lighting. Got got picked this thing up in Missouri. It's already kind of gutted. The scholar says St. Louis build, but we're about 20 minutes from St. Louis in Illinois. But I picked this thing up in uh over in uh near Peavley, Missouri. Pretty clean. Real clean. B18 B1. Uh so non VTEC, which is good for some rules, uh depending on where you run it, but has really nice passport mounts that are all these are worth more than almost i paid for the whole car probably um so got a couple cool aftermarket parts um the most important thing is it's light and it cranks so and it so does run it does run standard it's automatic manual transmission and uh it's got a well tail on it, it looks a, pretty good for like yep. a little most, daily driver most important thing there's a six inch exhaust right on the back here. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, not my style with the stickers. Grayson's so. running the Alabama so, shirt. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this taken off. What but. do you have to say, Grayson? <laughs> yep, all right. I got a little bit of a problem. 
and I'm collecting cars. So we don't really know. So what was the, what are you leaning towards? I told him I didn't know with the blue car, it looked good almost to maybe flip. The blue car might be a flip car. It almost is in too good of condition. So you've got four cars. One's definitely I a uh, I race them. car. What about the other three? Can we expect at least one out of the other three? The goal in the end for me from the very beginning has always been to have four running cars, four running race cars, one for each of us to run. Uh, so that's the ultimate goal. I imagine that either Austin or Pops will be in this car. Uh, and then later on, I might build the 96 hatch, Civic hatch for me. Or Lane. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but the 96 hatch is definitely the biggest project car of all of our vehicles, other than maybe Austin's RSX in South Mississippi. So that one's gonna be definitely an off-season build. This car was pretty much um, almost gutted from when I got it, other than the seats. Pretty dark, you can't I already, see. I already Just trust me, it's gutted. Took out the rear panels, but this car is not that far away from possibly being- I like, feel like if we had a cage, we could be racing. It, it's right you know, now, as we're shooting this, it's Wednesday. If there was a Saturday race and we had one. a cage, we probably, and Maybe. a welder, and the knowledge. Anyway. Maybe, Maybe but- we're gonna get washed up and uh we're gonna go in here and show you what we finished and we're gonna continue to work and try to put the the goal is to fire up the the, the new rsx engine tonight so, which i've had a problem i'm i'd always call the one down south a flim's car this is travis but we're just gonna call this the number 11 and the number 13. apparently my new nickname is the bank so oh I yeah guess, I guess I'll lean into that one a little bit. I already bit. showed them about these little projects that might come one day. <laughs> All right, so let's we're going to go in there and get cleaned up. As you can see, a lot of it's already kind of come together, and we'll be back out here. All right, try to take the hose on. We're gonna add some water and cool it. A little mixture thing. Travis, what did we just get done? We added some That's a oil filter change. Change the oil filter. Added new oil. New oil. Uh, we got the power steering fluid. Power just steering. fluids. Checking yeah. the fluids. Now I'm just trying to run over all the connection points for the engine harness and make sure everything is tight. Pretty much going back here in a second, checking all our clamps all our stuff that one we got a few more hoses but we're just wanting to hear it click or spin over would be great all right we're gonna add the water and stuff and let y'all know how right, travis is getting in <laughs> I, i'm legit like nervous we haven't really done it let's we, just see if we just want to see if the starter works at all don't crank that joker was that it oh no oh, all right you ready? Hold up, let me back up. You ready? Just bump it and see if it does anything. All right, it's moving. All right, hold up, let's get a first reaction. <laughs> Bro, seriously, I'm nervous. All right, uh, I guess we're gonna just let it spin over for a second and see what it does. You ready? Go ahead. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, that's a good sign first. Cycling all the fuel in. So now, hit it again and watch that. All right, so it definitely runs. <laughs> it's cut off immediately though. All right, you didn't cut it off? Uh-uh. All right, so I'm gonna cut the camera. We're gonna look at Check. some stuff. one, two. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Uh, after we cut the video off, we had some RPM surging issues and we had a few other things that I want to go over with. But I do want to say that we were not able to race this weekend up here in St. Louis because Tri-City Speedway yeah, rained out. It's been bad weather. So we took a little break and did some stuff with the kids. But let's we'll, let's get into it. Come over here and I'm going to show you. We had the surging issues, the RPM. It's, uh, I, don't, I would show you what that sound like, but fortunately... I think 
I think we had it fixed and it ended up being, Travis, you want to tell them I keep saying it wrong. This is yeah. a new one, but we got the new one. Or the old one, but it's called the uh, Travis. Idle, explain. This is the idle air control valve. So basically, the idle air control valve, obviously. Where's the uh, one on it? So it's right there. It's right down, yeah. So Right here. Right here. So the idle air control valve um, obviously tells the engine when it warms up what RPM to stay at. And we took it off initially and tried to clean it all out just with general cleaner and put it back on and that did not do the, uh, did not fix it. So thank you. That did not fix the problem. And so we thought we had a bigger issue after me and a Flem watched some videos. We actually saw that there's, um, kind of a, uh, what would you call it? A cylinder, a cylinder that spins within that idle air control valve. Yeah. Mechanical something. And it's actually, it's hooks right in here though. Right. It hooks on the outside. And that's it right there. Y'all can see that little bar. So long story short, we ended up taking it back off, spraying the- Which uh, this is a new one, but we took the old one. one off. Spraying the, the cleaner straight into it and uh, just really soaking it and then taking it and hitting it on the ground a little bit. And I think we got that loose. And once we did that, uh, well, we ended up with this. All right. Surgeon's gone as of now. No surge. Just wrapping up here, probably with this video, uh, we've really got a lot accomplished. Uh, we've done a good bit. Again, a lot of frustrating issues, small things with switching an engine, especially uh, with me on my first time. I think I've said that before, but I'll say it again. It's just a continual up and down and feeling like you've done something and you got it and then you didn't get it. And then uh, a lot of a lot of research, I would say. A yeah. ton of research into... I feel like if he does this again, it's going to be way faster. Easy, easy. So a ton of research... he doesn't have to. <laughs> Me too. Get, get a temperature gauge. Yeah, I was going to say, so what... Actually, let that, me address that. Tell him you got hang the steering wheel. Hang on. I want to address this because... Skylar always makes these comments about me in Austin. Can't keep it out of the wall. Can't keep the coolant or the temperature down. Let's talk about that for okay, a second. Okay, outlaw speedway, I kept it out of the wall. Yeah, true. Last race, Pops had come all the way up here, drove 11 hours and surprised me. My entire family came out to watch the race. In the heat race, we took it easy. I finished, I think, fifth of sixth and was hunting down fourth place, but just didn't have enough time. Roll forward to the feature. All right. I start in 12th place. I move all the way up to like seventh, sixth, a lot of cautions, so that helped. But then I find myself in fourth place. My car is overheating. My whole family's there. I said, let her blow. <laughs> so, so my whole family is there. I was up in fourth place. I, I hadn't run in a Holy while. Shit, the boy got excited. <laughs> I got excited. I jumped the start. Had I horribly. already hit the wall? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Because if know. I had, he was probably thinking, we already no, lost no, no. one car. No. We might as well lose the whole team. You hadn't hit the wall. I, uh, I jumped the start horribly. Go back to my video. There's a guy named Joshua Hawkins who runs a yellow uh, Cavalier who won like four races in a row. I was under that dude before the green flag even dropped. So anyway, and then you can see, I just- He said one to go and he shifted. <laughs> I jumped under him way, 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 way early. But if you go look, right when I jump under him, it just, I literally go under him and then it just dies. And I ended up losing engine power on the back stretch. Uh, and, and because I was so worried about that, went up the track and ended up unfortunately tapping someone. Didn't we blow the, you already told it. I did blew. not blow. No, the, the radiator was good, oh, did it? Yeah, I told him about that. Okay, so. so anyway, that is why. He's back. That's anyway. <laughs> that is why it was a conscious decision to say, run her hard. But. In, in hindsight, maybe wouldn't have made that decision. Keep the camera on, but with that being said, I was going to say, I'm not going to show it. You go ahead, bring it but over here. Here it is. It's just not for, that I just know it was Skyler, 
This is a tin color. <laughs> Bluetooth. He gonna wear AirPods. He gonna tell him cut it off. Close cut it off. It's temperature. So we got that. And we got another steel wheel. Look. It's, it's gonna you... say, hey, the bank. You yeah. ain't gonna be the bank anymore if this thing gets any hotter. So. <laughs> We got that left. This car's, I think by next race, he's gonna be out there. We are gonna try to get some numbers though on this thing. I don't know, Pop's numbers are pretty good. Yeah. But, I, uh, other than that, it was a good trip. Great trip. He did drive, like, uh, he drove. Drove down the we'll road. We'll see if we can get it. I don't want y'all to hear that thing lurking and me screaming at Travis about turning a car that don't turn itself. Terrible. But it moves. We had to move this thing right now. We got to get that radiator and the hose because I, the old hose don't fit bins. But you think they're done hearing us ramble? Yeah, they're probably done. So Scott, look, Scott's gonna say, cut the video. All right, all right well, that's a video for the. Uh, I think this is the second video build for the St. Louis RXX RSX slash TX or whatever. Yes. The number eleven right now, car Travis St. Louis, the bank, the legend, the myth. Uh, I, I want to just say for me, before Travis talks, I appreciate y'all. We're getting close to 500 subscribers. Yes. It's really easy to just mash that share button and help us out. Y'all don't know how, I don't he ain't here, but he's going to watch. Y'all don't know how excited Scholar C when one subscriber. So when they say yeah. one don't matter, yeah, it does. He gets excited. And he sees when, some, when he loses someone. Yeah, don't be, don't, boy, just <laughs> don't watch the video if you got to. Don't do it to him. He already lost it. Never mind. Anyway, go ahead, Travis. Yeah. Sign us out. Anyway, so like, subscribe, share the content, and we will see you guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. Do it. <laughs> oh, and our shirts are very soon. Y'all get ready to go buy a hat and a shirt if we can keep the hats in. See y'all later. Catch you around. I'll do it for peace. Thing.